Uh, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say hello? Some of you have been on the trail for the whole time. No more debates. No more naps. <laughs> Will you accept the results of the election? <laughs> you know, it was horrifying what he said on the debate stage tonight. Um, you know, our country's been around for 240 years. Um, and, you know, we are a country based on laws. Um, and we've had hot, contested elections going back to the very beginning. Uh, but one of our hallmarks has always been that we accept the outcomes of our elections. We do the best we can to have free and fair elections, which we do. Uh, and somebody wins and somebody loses. Uh, so what he said tonight is part of his whole effort to blame somebody else for his campaign and for where he stands in this election. As I said, uh, whenever he is losing, he says the system, whatever the system is, whether it's uh, you know being in court about Trump University or losing the Iowa caucus in the Wisconsin primary or losing Emmys, for goodness sakes, he says that it's rigged against him. And, how, did uh, Chris how, did feel, feel, how did you feel when he said, you know, nasty woman, nasty woman, and uh, you're a puppet, and the, you know, the issue I of just, Vladimir Putin? Uh, yeah, I just don't, I, I just didn't pay any attention to that. I was very concerned that even now, after 17 intelligence agencies in our government, uh, both uh, military and civilian, have confirmed that Russia has engaged in uh, cyber attacks against uh, Americans, that he refused to admit that it's true and condemn it uh, for what it is, which is a blatant uh, effort to try to interfere in our elections. What will you do, what will you do if... From your praise for Goldman Sachs bankers to Vesta uh, calling Bernie Sanders a doofus will make it harder for you if you win to rally the liberal base around your agenda and your point. Not at all. Bernie Sanders is out there working hard every day to get me elected. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with everybody in our party. But as I said in uh, the closing, which they gave us at the last minute, uh, I'm reaching out to all Americans, uh, Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. I want to summon every American to, you know, use his or her talents and energy uh, and ambition to really help our country. And that's what I'm going to be. Are you worried about Democratic operatives? are supposed to, if they are found to have, you know, uh, I know nothing about this. I'm not, you know, I, I can't deal with every one of his conspiracy theories, but I hope you all have something to eat and something to drink you on the way back to New York. Thank you. How did Chris Wallace do? He did very well. He did very well.